hi. This is a fan fiction of Bleach that I wrote. Little Cure and Orohime. One day, Orohime was encountered by a Ranka named Little Cure. He told her to come with him. Orohime became silent and then started to talk. Me come with you? Why? I don't have to give you a reason. Just come, or all of your friends will die. What? Silence. Don't say another word, or I won't let you say goodbye to one person and one person only. Here is a bracelet. Wear it and don't take it off. When you wear it, a, spirit, a special type of spiritual barrier will surround you, and only the wrong car will be aware of your presence. You have until midnight. Meet me in the designated area. Remember, when you, when you enter Waco Mundo, you have no memory of anything that happened before that time. The only thing that you, that you will remember is your name and who you are. Remember, at midnight. I better go. I better go see Ichigo before it's too late, and say goodbye forever. When then Orihime heads to see Ichigo, but before she gets there, she thinks that she sh that she should that should she should she say goodbye? Because after this, this she won't remember anything. I know he's going to come, sa come and save me, no matter what, but when he comes, I won't remember him, still thinking. What is my life going to be like after this? I wonder. She makes it into Ichigo's room. Hi, Ichigo. I'm here to say goodbye. I can't believe it has to end like this. Maybe it's the way it's meant to be. I'll miss you, Ichigo. Thanks for being my friend. I had a good time with you throughout the years. You and everyone else shouldn't bother coming to save me. Because I won't remember you. Maybe I won't want to be saved. Goodbye, Ichigo. Orihime still has time before she has to meet Urokura. She decides to go to her school one last time and she goes to all the places her and Tatsuki used to go. Orihime thinks about all the good times her and Tatsuki had together. Orihime wishes she could say goodbye to her too, but she can't. It's about time I go meet Urukura. She heads over to meet him. As she is walking over, she starts to feel sad. When, but when she sees Urukura, she's happy again. Are you ready, Orihime? Yes, I am. They both head into Waco Mundo. As they enter Waco Mundo, she sees Aizen. Welcome, Orihime. I want you to fight Urukura to show us your powers, okay? Aizen says quietly, Urukura, my plan is for you to kill Orihime so she can become a hollow and I can change her into an Aranka. Urukura replies, why, why do you want Orihime to be an Aranka? She already has incredible healing powers. That's why. What? She will get stronger when she becomes an Aranka. I already know. I already know that much. She will. She will keep her healing powers, right? Right. Come, or he may. Right. They head outside. What's What's going to happen now? They were talking too quiet 
and I couldn't make out what they were saying. Orihime thinks to herself. With Orihime lost in thought, Urukyo says, Are you ready? Orihime says, Yes, without thinking what she was saying because she was lost in thought. Urukyo charges at Orihime, about to attack her, but stops before his attack made contact because she wasn't even trying to defend herself. What's the matter, Orihime? Do we have to fight each other? Do we, do we have to fight each other? Yes, we do. I even told you to demonstrate your powers to me. Don't worry, everything's going to be okay. Uricure just said that so Orihime won't worry. So the battle begins. Let's go. Urukyo and Orihime both charge at each other. Orihime, Orihime starts to attack, but Urukyo disappears and reappears behind her. Where did he go? Before she can even think of what just happened, she was on the ground. Orihime stands up. Urukyo walks over to Orihime. Before she get before he gets too close, he fires his saddle. Orihime then calls the names of three of her fairies, Baigan, Lily, and Shuno, that make her shield. She attempts to stop his saddle, but as soon as it makes contact, her shield shatters. And she gets hit pretty hard by the attack. Urukyoro walks over to Orihime. Orihime, are you alright? Without saying a word, Urukyoro can tell she is really scared. Orihime, that's enough for today. Come with me. What about Aizen? Don't worry, I'll take care of it. Let's go get some rest. My apologies, Aizen Summer that I wasn't able to kill the girl. She just looked too terrified to continue. So I put her in her chamber and told her to rest. That's okay, I understand. We will try a different approach tomorrow. The next morning, Orihime wakes up. What's the strange power, she thought. She leaves to go check it out. But before she can get anywhere, Urukyo stops her. Where do you think you're going? Orihime just stood there silent. I asked you a question. Where were you going? Not knowing how to respond, she just stood there in fear of what he was going to do for her trying to leave. Urukyo left the room and locked the door so she couldn't leave. Urukyo thinks to himself, she was so scared when I was fighting her, but yet she was going to leave and most likely die anyway. But I don't think Aizen would have, would have liked it if I didn't stop her. One of Orihime's friends is coming to save her. Urukyo went back to see Orihime. Orihime, I'm coming in. Orihime, I stopped you to protect you. If you want, if you want to go out, I'll go with you. Okay. I, uh, I think that's about all the time I have for now. But I'll do more of it in my next video. Okay. Bye for now.